is another chapter of the infamous budget car in England. Today I don't have to move that far. I'm still in London, which I need to go to another place in London. I need to go to the Royal Court of Justice. Because today there is a judicial review. Some of the organizations from Tim Badger, which Haifa belongs to, have challenged the government because the government decided to carry on with the pile of tolls, but to get rid of the independent expert panel which we think is outrageous, many think that people, many people think it's outrageous. So they challenged the government in court, and today is the first hearing. And it's going to be a demonstration outside, so I'm going to join them, as many people would like to join them. is now being driven just for political face-saving measures. If the judge finds in our favour today, and we do put in place an independent expert panel system again, it will cause no end of problems for the coal contractors in Gloucestershire and Somerset. They will have to think long and hard if they're going to go ahead with this policy. As Bill quite rightly said, the only reason they didn't want scrutiny, the only reason is because they know they can't deliver this disastrous policy if people are looking at what they're actually doing and sharing it with the rest of the world. It's not going to happen. And people say to me, what are the alternatives? What are we going to do for farmers and bovine TB managers? And actually, by taking cattle-based measures and tightening them down, you can really get on top of this disease. So annual testing of cattle, tighter cattle control movements, better biosecurity measures. You have taken the level of TB in cattle in Wales down by 48%, 48% in the last five years. And yes, they have gone forward in their areas where they have significant levels of TB with a badger vaccination program. And that program has proved very effective. They've been vaccinating over 12, 1,300 badgers a year. Now you can be certain of the animals that were killed in Gloucestershire and Somerset last year, probably 90% plus had no TB whatsoever. We know that they actually did post-mortems on about 154 animals. And again, not one of those animals post-mortem had visible lesions. Otherwise it would have shown up in the reports and it would be designated as a TB carrier. So they're all clear once again. And then landowners actually paid an extra amount of money to test four of them that they were completely certain carried TB. And only one of that four was found to have early stage of the disease. We can do a lot about protecting wildlife, we can do a lot about making this country we live in a better place, and we can do a lot to show the rest of the world that the caring, compassionate British people will stand up for wildlife and we will protect it. Thank you for coming here today. Thank you for showing your anger and support for us. The Badger Trust will keep fighting. The rest of the world will keep fighting. I fall all the other charities behind this campaign will. Please keep supporting us. Thank you.